Uh, we want to find the KSP of this reaction, and I really didn't even have to give you the reaction from chem 2 b You should have known what the products are. Uh, that a solid goes to two aqueous compounds. <coughs> and I give you two electrolytic reactions, uh, reduction potentials. And so uh, I'm thinking that, okay, how, how do we want to solve this? I want K. I might be able to find E, standard. Well, if you uh, vaguely recall, uh, E standard equals, uh, and then let's see where I have this uh, reaction written down. I want to give you the same one I gave you in class yesterday, because there's a couple ways to write this down. Let me flip over to it. Ah, okay. In class, I gave you 0 0.0256 over n times the natural log of k. And since we're talking about KSP, I'll write a little SP down here. So if I can find E standard, I can find KSP. And so, sounds simple after I write that down. So let's try this. I want to find E standard. So what I'm going to do is look at these reactions and see how do I use these two reactions in green to make this one at the top in blue. Well, in order to do that, which reaction do I flip? The first or the second? First. To make this reaction right there. Yeah, I've got to flip the second one. Let me write that out. AG solid goes to AG plus aqueous plus an electron. Let me rewrite the first reaction. AgCl solid plus an electron goes to Ag solid plus Cl minus aqueous. And you'll notice when this happens, the Ag solids cancel and the electrons cancel. So I'm left with the reaction I wanted. Uh, and let me write that reaction down. That is AgCl solid goes to Ag plus aqueous plus Cl minus aqueous. This is a solubility product reaction or KSP type reaction. Now I know some of you are extremely bothered by that because note what happened. Uh, and I'll write this in red. The, uh, this reaction here at the bottom kept its 0.22 volts positive. But the reaction I wrote here with the silver solid, it just reversed. And why is that annoying to us? Yeah, I'm going to get an overall negative number. Uh, and that's going to be, so my E standard for this reaction is going to be 0 0.58 volts. And that's going to be a negative number. We don't like that because it's not spontaneous. However, in this problem, I don't care. And the reason I don't care is I'm making the reaction they wanted. They wanted this reaction, I'm going to make it. Now, if you think, if anybody remembers back in 2B, where does equilibrium lie in these type of reactions? In the products or the reactants? So K is bigger than 1 or less than 1? K in KSP reactions, that KSP is usually extremely small. You have extremely small KSPs. That means uh, equilibrium will lie on the left-hand side. Um, in the reactants, the reaction does not want to go forward. In that case, we say this reaction is probably not spontaneous. And thus, we're, we are expecting a negative number for this reaction, because this is a non-spontaneous reaction. You're going to note, as soon as I find K, it's going to be really tiny. So this would be an electrolytic cell, meaning in order to make this reaction happen, you've got to put energy into the reaction in terms of electricity or something else. Otherwise, this reaction won't go. But we don't care about that. All we care about, according to the question, is making this reaction and finding out what K is. So let's do that. Now let's find K. 
or Ksp in this case, is going to equal E uh, raised to, oh, and then I, yeah, the, uh, oh my gosh, N times E standard all divided by 0 0.0256. Okay, and N is equal to, in this reaction, 1. And then we've already got E standard, that's a negative 0.58. If you calculate this out, KSP will equal 1.6 times 10 to the minus 10. Yeah, that sounds like it's not going to be very spontaneous. Or in other words, in terms of equilibrium, the reactants are favored. The products are extremely unfavored. K is really tiny. We do expect a non-spontaneous C standard. Any questions on this? That part I know is a little confusing, that you get a negative, make a negative E standard, but you have to here. If sometimes students wonder, well, what, what should I do? Well, if it's not stated, and if it seems like the reaction is happening naturally, always make a positive E standard. However, if you are forced to make a certain reaction, you've got to make that reaction whether E standard is positive or negative. So, if it's not stated, make a positive E standard. But if you are forced to make a particular reaction, go with whatever they want you to make. 